Uh, hi, I'm introducing the new micro deck from Open Music Labs. Uh, it's a digital, it's an open source digital effects unit uh, that we're offering up for sale, either in the box, nice sturdy box, or just the board. Um, it's uh, it's got 16 different spots for uh, program memory, so you can program up and switch to anything you want. And we're shipping with a bunch of software that we've painstakingly pieced together and and written with blood and tears. Uh, there's an analog section that has uh, very high quality gain for uh, instruments or microphones of all sorts, uh, a level and clip light. There's um, a level knob that allows you to uh, control the output, so if you want to like crank the gain up and distort like crazy, you can adjust your output level. Uh, there's analog feedback and a, a wet-dry mix that, uh, that opts between the um, switches between the dry input and the output of the microcontroller. The microcontroller itself is an Atmel AVR. Uh, it's an 8-bit microcontroller, so if you've programmed Arduino or done any 8-bit microcontroller stuff, you'll find it a very familiar programming environment. Um, and it's got two, uh, well, all three of these knobs are hooked directly into the microcontroller. Uh, as I mentioned, there's the uh, uh, 16 position rotary encoder. There's an infinite rotary encoder with a push button and a pot that goes to one of the microcontroller ADCs. Uh, so as you uh, switch between the different programs, the microcontroller grabs the audio in through a Wolfson codec and processes it in various ways and it outputs through that same codec. It's uh, one of the codecs that was used in the early iPod, so it's high quality 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, on the back, you've got two quarter inch tip-ring sleeve, in and out, and nine volt DC. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I'm being told something from behind the camera. It involves the number six people. Yes. P.S. Uh, there are four megabytes of uh, RAM on here. I'll try this again. Uh, and 20 megahertz processor. Oh yeah. PS, four megabytes SRAM, so six seconds of delay memory, and a 20 megahertz processor.